at the front that came over the region this past weekend. It's stalled across North Florida, uh, the peninsula, and that's going to start to fizzle out. So not much of an effect that will have anymore. But the next one to the north coming out of the Tennessee Valley already sparking thunderstorms and associated cloudiness. That kind of activity as far as the cloudiness goes can filter into the tri state region. Not very confident we'll have the actual rain holding together through the midnight hour, but we can see an increase in the scattered cloud cover with still a few breaks of clear sky here and there uh, for the early morning hours of your Tuesday. The state line area will also encounter a west to southwest wind and with that slow moving front across South Georgia by late tomorrow, that can help to cause a little more stir up in the atmosphere enough to spark off a few more rounds of showers, a little more moisture available too. So that does mean we can see those pockets of rain, a couple flashes of lightning, rumbles of thunder and some of those downpours. They are likely to return to the picture, especially around and south of I'd, I'd say Highway 84. If you're still across northern sections of our region up the Flint River area, you probably won't have much in the way of a rain chance after the late morning hours. But that front is not going to make us sweep all the way through like this first one did. It's going to start to slow and kind of meander. The moisture gathers. We'll have ripples of low pressure forming along it with a little more support from the upper level wind flow as well. So that does mean a time of unsettled weather could be upon us scattered initially tomorrow and Wednesday and then Thursday into Friday. We could have a more solid coverage of cloudiness, occasional sunshine mixed in, but also rounds of rain. And over the span of a few days, it can add up to a few inches of rain. So we'll monitor the trends for any kind of flooding issues. No big severe weather risk, though. But we do notice the change in the air mass for the overnight hours. Mid 70s with maybe a few low 70s in the Suwannee Valley and east of I-75. And then for highs tomorrow, a mix of mid 90s in some upper 80s. It all depends on how much cloud cover you get. It could be hotter across our inland areas in the tri-state region and that 40% rain coverage mostly across the Big Bend, Suwannee Valley and sections of I-75 South Georgia. Wednesday could be just about as hot with a few more thunderstorms. Thursday, Friday, that's the day you have to prepare for times of rain and that will begin to decrease by this update.